All right, so flipped it around. I have this little pry tool. I mean, essentially you could use a small screwdriver if you could get into it uh, and also maybe put a towel or something underneath. So I already kind of have it there. So you see this, super easy, right? Like you just go in and it pops up and it's off. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Inside there, you'll see a couple bolts, right? Right there, they point to it right there. One on the other side, I put JBLs in. Um, at first I had kickers, some people recommended it. Uh, I'm kind of dumb and didn't put in the uh, capacitor to, to limit where the sound is. And I blew them. So if you get one of those, make sure you do put in that capacitor resistor or whatnot in it. I just used my handy, I love this red, there's snap-on stuff. Anyways, because it has an adjustable head. Uh, and a seven millimeter along with a uh, bit. And I just used that and took them out. I mean, after that, uh, I had the the wiring harness from Crutchfield, which helped a lot. It's a Metro harness. I think they're $9 for two, but if you buy the speakers from them, it's free. So I went ahead and used it. And then uh, it's just plug and play at that point, right? So after you're done, screw it back in, pop it down, all done, that's it. So that was pretty easy. Um, I'm also gonna talk about my headliner a little bit because I feel like that helped the sound. Not so much on a, um, on making it sound better, but a lot of the deflection reflection from, from the sounds kind of was a little strange. So I'll talk about that in the next video. So subscribe. Well, as promised, I'm talking about these headliners. There are a lot of different ones. Um, Hotheads has one, Mopar has one. I've seen the Mopar one, I haven't seen the Hothead one, but the Hothead one gets really good reviews. Uh, I went ahead and got the DEI boom mat. It was less expensive. I didn't really need that much. I didn't think it was that bad to begin with, uh, honestly, but uh, the sound did improve. So I put in the speakers uh, in my last video and the speakers were great. I mean, the highs were high, but only problem was there was so much sound deflection through the whole entire cabin that I felt like it was piercing my ears in different ways and it, it wasn't really comfortable to hear and listen to it. And so I went ahead and got these. These are soft. So, you know, the Mopar ones, they're solid. And underneath, uh, all I did was I took some 100 grit sandpaper and I sanded it down. And then I used an alcohol pad and wiped it down some more. And I put it in. You know, they're, they're okay. I would say because there's grooves inside of the panels, it kind of fit a little bit weird. Um, you can see like, it's not perfectly straight. And if you're kind of OCD like me, I would say this probably isn't ideal. It's not bad. You know, there's, there's a little bit of creasing right there. I'll show you the back. The back, it goes up. And again, see, you know, like, it's just not perfect everywhere. And it's, it's foam, and you can see some of the foam junk coming out. Um, but it wraps all the way around. It's in here, too. You know, on the sides of the car. Right there on the top. It does its job. There's a middle strip. Again, um, less expensive, not perfect. I don't know if the hothead one fits any better than this. I haven't seen it in person. Uh, but if you're looking for something cheap, effective, and helps with the sound, this is probably it. I would imagine if you take some Dynamat or you know some of the, some of the heavier asphalt-based or rubber poly-based stuff, and you put it underneath, kind of like how Hotheads does it, it would probably help a little bit with the with like rain sound. But I kept thinking about it, and this is fiberglass, and it, it doesn't have that resonance that metal does normally on on the top of a car nor on the bottom so i didn't even do that because you know i just think about so sound dynamics it's probably a waste of time but as you know anything with weight and heavier tends to help with sound deadening anyway so 
marginally. I wouldn't say it's probably worth the money because you know that stuff's not cheap. Um, so I didn't do it, but this is what I did. And it helps with the audio at least. I'm liking it. All right, click the subscribe.